everyone a good day today i am going to show you a demo of risk api security testing i have automated few scenario of risk api in postman and integrated with zap in zap the security testing will be performed let me kick start with the uh, demo so this is the sap ui first i'm navigating to the rest uh, po postman in postman i have picked the rest api where i have automated uh, the rest api uh, all the inputs and outputs were parameterized and uh, all the outputs are validated i am running the uh, scenario here so all the request and response are being generated if you notice uh, the status of uh, each and every request and response uh, are uh, 200 which is success so this is executed let me show a sample scenario so this is a sample scenario where in test i have validated each and uh, every thing let me navigate to quickly to SAC. Uh, SAP. In SAP, if you see under sites, uh, it is since it is integrated, all the requests are being captured, the request and response which are generated being captured. So what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, I'm going to do a security testing that is pen testing in SAP. Let me kick start with the basic uh, security testing. First, I'm doing an active scan, which active scan, which is a basic security testing. Uh, the active scan has started and it is in progress. Uh, so it will uh, scan the entire uh, REST API. Since uh, the scan is in progress, uh, I'm doing a uh, two type of uh, testing. One is active scan and another is spider. Both are uh, basic type of security testing. So once this is completed and let us go and check on the alerts, uh, what are the alerts which are being uh, created, captured uh, by the security testing. So the overall demo is, uh, such, is such that I have chosen a REST API, automated it in the Postman and this uh, Postman is integrated with SAP. In SAP, uh, the security or pen testing uh, is happening. It is a basic, uh, I am trying to uh, explore a basic security testing. So here, if you, uh, the scan is in progress and it is, uh, if you see the response are getting generated, few of the response are showing uh, as 404, uh, which is uh, an error message. Let us wait for the scan to complete. So this scan is completed. Let me go to the alert session. In alert session, if you see, there are three type of uh, uh, alerts which are being generated. All are under same category. That is X content type option header missing as alerts. These are uh, uh, these are a security threats uh, which are uh, of type he uh, header type. Uh, in header, uh, there are few design issues due to which this uh, risk or security threat might happen. According to SAP, uh, this risk is categorized as low, and uh, according to their uh, uh, according to their confidence level, it is medium. Uh, this is a security threat which is uh, in the header, which might uh, result in these type of errors, and uh, this might cause. Uh, potential security threats. So I am navigating and I am doing another type of security scan, which is spider. Let me kickstart the scan. It is completed. Let me navigate to the alert session. In alert session, if you see another uh, another uh, thing is another one, one more type is being generated. Let me click of this. All these uh, sub uh, threads are under the same category. In header, there are few design issues uh, which are caught by the security mechanism and uh, which are uh, displayed uh, in this alerts. Uh, so, uh, so this is a quick demo about added few more uh, REST API scenarios to identify the security risk.
and vulnerabilities. Let me quickly quick start into the kick start into the demo. And so on this, this is a SAP where under sites, there are no sites are there and active scan is uh, empty. If you see the alerts, there are no alerts and active scan is empty. Right now I'm navigating to the postman. In postman, I have created a few more, uh, two uh, request and responses, uh, which might uh, uh, result in security risk and vulnerabilities. So I'm running the uh, postman test script, collection test script. So the test script has passed. Let us navigate to SAP. In SAP under sites, uh, the sites has been uh, generated. Right now I'm going to do a basic scan that is active scan. Let me quickly start the scan. So if you see the number of new alerts is three and there are many alerts that is unauthorized, unauthorized and uh, internal server error and a lot more errors are there. Before uh, navigating into the uh, alerts, let me quickly analyze a few things. So the scan is in progress and these are the different types of scan which is performed by the SAP tool. So these are the various uh, various uh, type of scans which are performed by this SAP tool. SAP tool. So the scan has completed. So all different type of security risk and vulnerability uh, are identified by this scan. Let me quickly navigate to the alerts. In the alerts, if you see, there are uh, three different alerts are being generated. First one is SQL injection, which is, uh, which is a high priority. If you see, it is high priority. There is some syntax error due to which uh, SQL injection might happen. So this is another error where uh, there is a syntax error due to which SQL injection might happen. So the risk is very high and uh, this is the first uh, alert. And next thing is cross, cross site scripting weakness. So they have identified that uh, there might be uh, there might be a low risk item because uh, of this uh, because of this alert because of this error and there are two uh, header x content option header missing and these are uh, categorized as low these are categorized as low so Tweaking the API and uh, using the uh, SAP uh, correctly will discover uh, more potential architectural and uh, other security risk and vulnerabilities. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your time and thanks for watching.